What's up YouTube? It's your girl Lee here and I'm finally back with another video for you guys today. If you're new to my channel, if this is the first time seeing my face, make sure you smash the subscribe button to become a part of the family. And if you already subscribed to me, welcome back. Alright guys, so I'm finally back with another video for you guys. You guys have been asking me for a whole bunch of Instacart videos and when I tell you that I have been busy with school, I'm not playing. Like, I'm getting a 4.0 this semester and I've just been straight focused and also I I've been sick here and there so but i'm okay now i'm feeling better so now i'm back with the video for you guys today today is basically going to be an instacart tips and tricks video where i'm basically gonna like walk you through a day with instacart but give you like you know tips and tricks <laughs> so before we get right into the video make sure you guys follow me and all my social media down below if you're excited and you want to hear what i have to say make sure you keep on watching and let's get right into the video all right so if you see me looking down i have my notebook right here with all the tips and tricks I'm pretty sure I have like 50 plus in here, but we're going to get right into it. So we're going to start off with before you even start Instacart. You just signed up, you got accepted, you're excited, you're ready to start, but you don't know where to start. So we're going to start from there <laughs> before day one. So before you start, basically the first thing that you want to do is watch a whole bunch of videos. I don't know about you guys, but when I first started Instacart, I binged a whole bunch of Instacart videos. I wanted to know everything about the app. I wanted to know how much money people were making. I wanted to know if it was worth it, all that stuff. And you guys can watch my videos right here regarding Instacart, but that's what I did. Also, before you get started, you want to make sure that you're getting familiarized with the Instacart app. So that means looking at the app, doing the trainings, watching other videos of people showing you how to use the app just exploring it yourself so that way when you start you're not over here like where am i supposed to go what am i supposed to click on how do i create a greeting how do i check out how do i do this how do i do that if you familiarize yourself with the app you will have a less harder time on your first day so the next thing that you want to do is make sure you have really good sturdy insulated bags instacart offers you their own insulated bags but i bought mine off of amazon the ones that i bought are sturdy and they're pink and i love them so much but you basically want to have insulated bags so that way you can keep your products cold or hot or whatever the next tip is that you want to make sure that you're comfortable but you also want to have neat clothing so comfortable enough so that you can move around do what you got to do but neat enough so that you look presentable you want to get a phone charger or something a portable charger that way you can charge your phone while you're on the road and that's actually my next tip to make sure that you charge your phone in between batches but you need a phone charger or something that you can plug into your car to charge your phone because listen this app will take up your battery baby let me tell you it would take up your battery so you need a phone charger or a portable charger or something like that so that way you can keep your phone charged while you're on the road along with the phone charger you want to make sure that you have some something to hold your phone so for example i have a pop socket on my old phone that i used to use I have this as a phone holder that way when i'm driving i have my phone right in front of my face i just dropped it that way when i'm driving i have my phone right in front of my face and i'm not over here looking down looking whatever or whatever when i'm looking at the apps or even when i'm not driving when i'm sitting there i don't have to hold my phone i have my phone right here and i could just see when something pops up so that's something that you want i feel like it's also like a safety thing you don't want to have your phone in your hand or something while you're driving or whatever in case if a batch pops up so make sure you have something that can hold your phone you can even get something that you stick on your windshield something along those lines so another thing that you want to know before you start instacart is taxes instacart does not take out taxes at all and once you make i believe it's 600 dollars, that's when you're gonna have to start filing for instacart so make sure you um understand that and make sure you put away money so that way if you have to owe anything you don't have to you know go straight out of pocket you have the money saved up already so the next tip doesn't really apply to you if you're just doing instacart for extra income or just for fun but i say if you're going to start instacart and you have all this other stuff to do with your life make sure you create a schedule i feel like it's so much easier to do that that way you can know which days you want to go out for instacart and how long you want to go out for and along with creating a schedule instacart actually has an option to look at the best times to shop and it's not always accurate but sometimes it is and with the best times to shop you can even plan your schedule around that from when you go out and do instacart so along with creating a schedule the next tip i have is to budget budget how much you want to make when you go out for a day with instacart that way you know how long you have to stay out for and, and let's say if you don't make enough on one day maybe you can go out on another day or something along those lines if you guys would like a separate video on how i budget for instacart make sure you guys comment down below and i'll do that for you so the next tip is what i wished i knew before i started instacart and that is to familiarize yourself with these stores so if you know which store you're going to be shopping at with instacart i say before you even start just go to the store and shop around if you're going to shop for yourself or just look around and get familiarized with the aisles where everything is where the dairy is where the produce is everything and just familiarize yourself with the store that way before you start you don't have anxiety because <laughs> when i tell you my first time 
um shopping instacart i shopped at aldi's and some people may not think that aldi's is crazy i don't really shop at aldi's like that but that was crazy and, and i was filled with anxiety but i wish i would have just went to the store beforehand before starting with instacart and just familiarizing myself with these stores that way i wouldn't be filled with anxiety create a greeting before you start so in the app there's a way how you can create a greeting for your customers i'm going to show you guys right here but for mine um it basically says what it says right here and i say to create a greeting that is is not so computerized like the one that they create for you just spice it up a little bit add your own little twist to it and i feel like customers love when you greet them they love when you talk to them when you show that you're actually a person they interact with you more when you have a greeting and that's just something that you can just send right when you start shopping for the customer and another tip before you start instacart you don't have to do this but also get like extra accessories so for example how i said for my phone holder i have the little pop socket thing you could also get a wagon or something like that so that way you can carry your groceries you can get like a shirt for instacart you can even get like a lanyard if you want to wear that while you're out something like that you don't have to but that's another tip okay. So let's move on to day one so it's day one with instacart you're getting ready to hop on the road you're excited it's your first day and hopefully you practice mindfulness and you relax yourself because that's the first thing that you need to do on day one is to relax i know you're excited and all that stuff but trust me you do not want to let that get the best of you you want to be focused you're ready for the day make sure your phone is charged when you go out before you go to instacart because let me tell you if you go outside with your phone on like 50 percent 70 percent by the time you're done shopping your phone's going to be on 20 I promise you right now. So make sure your phone is charged before you start. Another thing is to make sure you don't bring any friends or family with you. I understand you're probably nervous right now and you're like, I want somebody here with me. I don't want to do this by myself. But Instacart doesn't allow you to bring friends or family or anyone with you while you're shopping just for privacy and confidentiality purposes for the customers. So just pop in your headphones that's what i do you could pop in your headphones and just try to relax that way but instacart doesn't allow you to do that and you can actually get in trouble and get deactivated if someone catches you doing instacart with other people so another tip on the first day is to bring your snacks bring whatever you need because listen you are going to get hungry you are working out when you're doing instacart you are running back and forth trying to get these groceries for your customer and you are working out which means you're going to get hungry and all that stuff so you want to make sure that you have some snacks for you whether they're healthy whatever you want anything that you want bring it with you on the road that way you don't have to drive back home or something like that or have to go buy something outside dress for the weather this is kind of going along the lines of dressing comfortable but neat but dress for the weather let me tell you last thing you want to do is walk outside in some shorts and some flip-flops and it's snowing or it's raining so make sure you dress for the weather another tip is to make sure you have gas in your car oh my god do not go outside with your tank about to be on e and you're in the middle of an order now you got to stop the order or cancel the order because you better run out of gas we don't need that we don't need that so what we're going to do is make sure that our gas tank is filled that way we can fulfill our duties as an instacart shopper and not have to fill up our gas tank while shopping in order you feel me another tip is to drive to hot spots now i don't really do this often i didn't have to do this often but once instacart updated their app whew, child i had to start driving to these pop-up stores so for example in my last video i said that i would get up early probably by six and be at the store by seven that's what i would do that's me driving to the hot spot and what that does is let instacart know that you're in the area already so you're more than likely to get the batches another thing is patience patience let me tell you your first day anything that pops up on your screen is not good do not just accept the first thing that you see on your screen because honey i'm telling you you're going to be very disappointed if you select an order and it's only like seven dollars and you over here grabbing like 70 items do not accept the first thing take your time look at the order look at the quantity look at the pay look at all of that look at the mileage look at the distance look at all that stuff look at how far you're going look at if it's a two batch order if it's a one batch order if it's three batch order like you need to really inspect it honey and you have to expect it quick but that comes comes along with time okay that comes along with time when i first started instacart i wasn't over here taking my time expecting the order i just literally just accepted it and that was it not all batches are good batches say it with me not all batches are good batches and i already mentioned the headphones if you want bring your headphones pop in your air play some classical music play some nature sounds play some r&b play my music okay play my music leah dre um and shop your order all right so now it's your first batch you got your first batch you looked at the order you made sure that the order is good yes say it with me not all batches are good batches and now you're getting ready to go to the store so the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you're getting to the store at a reasonable time if you take too long instacart could possibly 
blow your phone up and say you need to go to the store and i don't know what happens after that i'm assuming they canceled the match if you're not there at a decent time but also make sure that you drive safe you don't want to be out here zipping and speeding and zooming and get into a car accident no you want to take your time and drive safely to the store i already said this before make sure you look at the items so you accepted your first batch you want to look at the items that you need to grab that way before you go to the store you already know what you need to grab even before you hit start shopping look at the items again so that way you don't have to sit here and stare at the items and be like oh i don't know which one i need to go to oh which aisle is it no we look at the items before we start shopping so that way when we start shopping we're not over here stuck on stupid running around like a chicken with her head cut off trying to figure out where we need to go all right so you need to look at the items and yeah so another tip is just me explaining the way how i shop you can follow your own way do your own thing but this is how i shop honey so basically there's times where i shop from bottom to top so example i look at the list and i usually start all the way from the bottom so i'll keep scrolling all the way up and i'll start at the bottom and i usually do this when i'm at wegmans i usually leave the produce and the heavy items for last because honey if you have a lot of items and you weigh down your cart and you have to grab like 50 more items and your cart is heavy you are going to be sad you know how many times i've done that so basically i leave the produce for last and the heavy items for last i grabbed everything that i need i put it in the cart and then i grab the heavy items and then i usually grab the produce really last like all the way last and another tip is to make sure that you make room in your cart make room in your cart for the items that are very fragile so for example eggs bread all that stuff i will put that in like the little top part of the cart not at the bottom with all the extra heavy stuff no we're not about to be breaking our customers uh stuff like what do you mean so we're gonna make sure that we put the produce on top of everything that way it doesn't get squished or nothing okay great another tip is to communicate with your customers so we created our greeting before we start i'm gonna send that greeting out okay and you want to make sure that your customer knows that you're starting to shop and that if they need any replacements or anything you'll message them or they can message you if anything if they want to add anything onto their order and it's just great to have a conversation with your customer as well now you don't have to be texting back and forth like y'all best friends but for example for me i always communicate everything with my customers so for example um just a quick little story there was a customer that wanted ice cream but they didn't have the ones that she wanted and in her app she said no replacements but i found a perfect replacement for her and i messaged her just to make sure i'm like hey are you sure you don't want replacements i found this perfect item and i sent her a picture and we had a little conversation about the ice cream um and she told me to get it for her so always communicate with your customer whether something's missing or if they don't have the right quantity or if they don't have something just communicate with your customer and let them know what's going on and if something's out of stock i would always send a picture anyway because listen people sometimes think that we're lying and we just refund everything no it's out of stock and it's not here i'm showing you it's not here and let's figure out what can we do can i get you a better replacement how about this would you like this instead let's say if you're texting your customer and they're not responding the next step is to call them sometimes for some people i had a customer that said that's for some reason her messages weren't going through and she was happy that i actually called her because she wanted to communicate with me but it just wasn't working so you can even call your customer if you call your customer and they don't answer you can leave a voicemail and if that happens when you're shopping and they still don't call back or they still don't respond then just use your best judgment so the next tip is to always double check your items you want to double check that you have the right quantity the right ounces whatever you need you want to check the expiration date you want to know maybe this item is damaged or something so let me send a picture to my customer to make sure that they don't want this item or maybe they would want it and you also want to double check the price the weight all that good jazz when it comes to your item another tip is to always ask for help let me tell you do not run around these stores with your head freaking cut off like a chicken you are going to ask for help if you need help do not be stubborn it's okay to ask for help if you cannot find something i promise you there's people in the store that are willing to help you and you want to know it's funny half the time when i ask for help i promise you the item is right in front of my face but that's okay we're human so don't be afraid to ask for help all right next step it's checkout time you got all your items you double checked everything you communicated with your customer you got the replacements you refunded whatever whatever you needed to do now it's time to check out all right so now you're going to double check your items again you want to make sure the expiration date is good 
How far is it? Is it far away? Awesome. Great. Is it all the way over there? Awesome. Now you want to double check if anything spilled. You want to double check if anything's damaged. Did you crush the bread? Did you crush the eggs? What did you do? Did you crush anything? Is everything looking great and awesome? All right. Awesome. Now we can go check out. With checking out, you can either do self-checkout or regular checkout. Instacart recommends regular checkout. You can use self-checkout, but it's only to your own discretion. I personally rather self-checkout because I feel like I'm just on the go. I'm on the go. I want to hurry up and get this done. I don't want to wait for somebody else to do it for me. So nine times out of 10, I am self-checking out. The only reason why I won't self-check out is if, for example, I go to Wegmans and a customer has a membership that they need to scan. For some reason, for Wegmans, when I self-check out, it won't let me scan the customer's membership. So I would have to go to the regular checkout. And also another reason why to not use self-checkout is that some stores don't allow Instacart shoppers to self-check out. I don't know why. It's, it's super annoying, especially when the store is super busy. And now you have to wait in this long line when you can literally go to self-checkout and dip. Make sure you bag your items correctly. That's the next tip. Bag your items appropriately. You do not want to cross-contaminate. Do not put the hot chicken with the raw chicken. Do not put, just don't, don't do that. Don't cross-contaminate, please. We care about our customers. We really do. Let's say while you're checking out, let's say if you're running late. You're running late. The line is super long. You can't go to self-checkout because they won't let you. And you're going to go over your time communicate with your customer you're going to message your customer you're going to say hey i just want to let you know that i'm checking out right now but the line is super long i will get to you as soon as i can or i'm sorry for the inconvenience that this has caused apologize for whatever is going on you want to make sure you're communicating with your customer and i promise you they'll probably appreciate it rather than you just being late because you don't know if that customer is just waiting up for you to get there you know what i mean so you want to communicate with your customer if the line is long or if you're going to be late for some reason or if there's traffic you can communicate with your customer about that as well so now you get to your car and you're loading your items in your car and like i said you want to make sure that your fragile items are not with the heavy items or anything so for example with the eggs and the bread anything fragile i'll put in my front seat i'll put on my front seat right next to me i don't want them to get crushed you want to make sure that your bags are secured secure the bags baby secure the bags you do not want to have your bags rolling around back there no you do not now you're gonna go back there and something's broken and now you got to go back to the store or whatever or your customer is going to remove your tip because something's broken in the back of your car because you had it rolling around you want to make sure that your bags are secured in the back of your seat and you want to make sure that your fragile items are far away from your heavy items and that they're secured as well so now that it's time to deliver you're about to deliver your items and what I always do, a tip, is to take a picture of the items and here's why. There's people who like to just fly on the app. And I can make a whole nother video about that if you want that, comment down below. People like to be fraudulent and they like to report things that aren't real. For example, they might say they didn't get their eggs, but yet their eggs are sitting right in front of their face. Um, they might say that they didn't get toothpaste. Well, you know that you grabbed the toothpaste. So I make sure I always take a picture of the items when I deliver them, whether that's me just leaving it at their door, or let's say even if I'm just handing it to them, I will still leave it right on the floor. And I'll knock on the door as I'm done taking this picture and there's your items. But I always take a picture of the items and I make sure I take a picture in a way that you can see each item because people like to lie on the app and i'm not gonna get too much deep into that but if you want to story time or anything about you know fraudulent customers comment down below another thing with taking pictures is that i finally learned that you can actually timestamp them i was reading a post in this instacart group that i'm in and someone says that she actually like timestamps her pictures so she's able to put like the location and the time that she delivered the item with the picture that she took of the groceries and i feel like that's super duper smart because listen when i tell you that there's people that will lie on this app just to get their money back they really will so you can do that another tip is to take your time you do not want to rush i know you're excited to get the next batch but honey you want to make sure that your customer has all their items you want to go back to your car Double check everything. Check in the insulated bags. Make sure everything's out. Check on your front seat. Did you get everything? Did you put anything on the floor? Make sure you check. You want to make sure that your customer has all their items and you really want to just take your time. Another tip is to not go in their house. Um, it's actually a rule from Instacart. You're not supposed to go in your customer's home. I put to use your own discretion. Here's why. I've met a bunch of people who have disabilities and the heart that I have, I feel bad. So sometimes I'll maybe not go in their house, but maybe I'll put it in the, like, as soon as they open the door, I'll put it right there or something like that. But do not go in their house because your safety matters and we want to make sure that you're okay and you don't want to just be all up in people's houses. You're not, there's no rule if, I don't know if anyone's telling you guys this, but there's really no rule to go into people's house. So if someone tries to tell you, oh, you need to bring this in my house, no, you do not. You do not need to do anything. 
okay you're not even supposed to go in there honey so don't do that if you feel uncomfortable doing that don't do it if you meet someone and they're trying to get you to go into their house or something to deliver the groceries and you feel very uncomfortable and you just don't want to do it just say unfortunately i'm not able to do that because it's a rule with instacart but i'm going to place it right here i'm so sorry for the inconvenience that this has caused so another tip that i have is let's say you tried communicating with your customer about something not being in the store or whatever or you had to replace some item and you called and all that stuff you messaged them they have not responded communicate with them in person when i deliver to my customers and i'm handing them their bag usually i'll take that time to be like hey did you see my message and they say no i said oh just to let you know this wasn't here i replaced it with this i hope this is okay and usually they'll be like yeah that's fine you know what i mean so always communicate with your customer rule of thumb communicate with your customer you need to communicate like that's the biggest thing you do not want to be out here just shopping and doing whatever and refunding whatever and replacing whatever and not talking to your customer because listen that is how you lose your tip honey that's exactly how you lose your tip another thing is to not always refund everything try your best to replace it and here's why when you refund a whole bunch of items and instacart your tip goes down so all right so you delivered your order and you're heading back to your car what you want to do is to pay attention to your body and i say this because us hard workers we will sit here and work 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 anyway we work 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 we not eating we out here tired we stressed out like come on pay attention to your body is your body telling you that you're hungry you're gonna grab your snack you're gonna eat your snack and take your time baby you're not gonna sit here and be all up on the app like me don't do that eat your food relax drink some water drink your juice drink your tea eat your chips eat your cookie eat a piece of bread eat your sandwich eat, eat your salad eat something because you're hungry and you need fuel in your body like i said with instacart you're exercising you run it back and forth baby you need to make sure that you are okay so pay attention to your body if you're tired go home and take a nap maybe you can go back out tomorrow and work a little bit longer tomorrow pay attention to your body baby. do you need to use the restroom do not hold your bladder all day do not do it do you need to do number two maybe I don't know, but pay attention to your body. Do not sit here and just be like, nah, I'm gonna work and I'm not gonna pay attention to my body and I'm gonna just do this and do that and I'm gonna suffer. You do not need to suffer. You do not need to suffer. Pay attention to your body, all right? But lastly, I have just some extra tips that I didn't know where to put, but they're very, very relevant. Another tip is to park near the exits, please. This is like the best thing that I do park near the exits and park near like the cart holder or the cart returner thing. That way, when you get out, you unload the stuff in your car you put the cart right back there because the cart holder is right there next to your car and you out and you're not far from the exit you don't got to take a hike to get to your car why because you park near the exit period another thing is to keep your receipts i've seen this in my last video i think someone commented saying like oh snap you keep your receipt you're supposed to keep your receipts yes baby you're supposed to keep your receipts and here's why anything can go wrong with the order so there's that people can be fraudulent and report stuff and say that they didn't get anything or that you didn't buy this and you have your receipt to show that you bought the item i usually keep mine for like a week two weeks and i make sure i pay attention to my ratings and i check to see if anyone is being fraudulent once two weeks go by throw the receipts away another thing that i do unless the customer says otherwise is to always knock or ring the doorbell when i'm delivering the order even if it says leave at the door the reason why you want to do this is to make sure that your customer knows that the order is there some people may not check their phone right away and now their food is sitting outside the chicken is sitting outside and we hungry inside so you need to go notify your customer that their order is at their door <laughs> another thing that you want to do and i should have mentioned this from day one from day one from the beginning is to always double check that you have your card last thing that you want to do is to get outside drive to the store accept the batch shop the batch all right shop the batch ready to check out your card ain't there that damn your card ain't there your card ain't there now you gotta cancel the batch because you don't have your card and you sad as heck all right you don't want that to happen so always double check that you have your debit card and another tip that i have along with that is to use apple pay if you can girl let me tell you apple pay is easy apple pay is a lifesaver you don't have your card you got your phone though you got your phone so here's what you're gonna do click click 
boom instacart boom check out like for real it's so easy so just read up on that if you would like if you rather just have the physical card you can do that i have both i had the physical card and i have um apple pay with instacart and it makes my life so much easier especially when it's cold and all that stuff and your hands freezing now you got to go over here digging your bag and look for the card nope you got your phone click click instacart checkout boom you're good all right so that is all the tips that i have for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was very entertaining i enjoyed filming it for you guys let me know what other videos you guys want regarding instacart or just in general make sure you comment down below and let me know you already know i'm here for you guys i love you guys let me know if you're an instacart shopper and you have other tips that i have not mentioned go ahead and comment down below and let me know some tips girl like spill the beans what, what what we need to be doing to make our customers happy please let me know but yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you guys so much and i'll see you guys in the next one